my Dutch oven. The heat is on to a medium high heat. I'm just going to put some olive oil into the Dutch oven. When it starts to shimmer, oh, and you can kind of feel the heat about six inches off the pan, then you know it's ready. We want to hear the sizzle once we put our meat in. This browning process is essential. Again, it's a golden rule, brown before you braise. So let's just wait one second till it gets nice and hot. So I love using the oval pan, the Dutch oven. I feel like it was made for brisket. Either way, whatever it is that you use, make sure you use a pan where there's enough room around it so we can develop this beautiful brown and caramelizing. Same kind of thing, like when you don't want to overcrowd a pan when you're frying or overcrowd a roasting pan, otherwise everything just steams. So again, a piece, a pan that can accommodate your brisket with a little bit of room. So we're going to place this into our pan, our hot pan and our hot oil. Place it down and away from you. And that's the sizzle that we want to hear. What's happening now, it's called the browning reaction, also known as the Maillard reaction for French chemist Camille Louis Maillard. And basically, everyone used to think, I used to even say this all the time, but it's totally not true, that this browning seals in the juices, the crust seals in the juice. No, it doesn't do that, but brown before you braise because it's completely impossible to develop layers of nuanced, deep, luxurious flavors unless you do this crucial process. The, the proteins and the sugars are caramelizing, and that brown crust and all the sooks, which is essentially from the French word for sugar, that come into the bottom of the pan will dissolve into your braising liquid and really produce a rich sauce and a rich and amazingly nuanced and layered final product. So meat can brown quickly at about medium to high heat. We want it to go for about five to seven minutes per side. Check it after five minutes. Now really important, if your pan is not hot, the meat will stick to the pan and then it will start to tear as you turn it. So make sure that your pan is nice and hot. So this we just need about five minutes per side, five to seven minutes. The smell is heavenly in the kitchen. You can hear the sizzle. We're going to take a little peek. And oh, this is starting to look exactly as we want it. And we're going to flip it. Are you going to see just how gorgeous this sear is? And now we're doing our second side. This is the beautiful texture that the exterior of the meat is starting to develop. The flavors, the sugars, and the proteins are caramelizing and gathering together at the bottom of the pan. Wait till we deglaze and they all dissolve into our cooking liquid to form the basis or the foundation of a beautiful sauce. And this is one of my favorite recipes because it's so simple. It just shows you salt and pepper. You'll see we're using simple ingredients, simple aromatics. You don't need a lot to have an amazing brisket. So now we've got a gorgeous sear on both sides. We're going to take this brisket out and just let it rest. 